Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Otter Brewery and it's the Otter Bright. Now I've chilled this one, took it out the fridge. It's been out the fridge about 20 minutes. So it's perfect drinking condition. A, a bright beer brewed with spring water. Now I am looking forward to this, very much so, not much, just a gold cap there. Get it into the otter glass, oh look at that, look how light and refreshing that beer looks. Wow. Small one finger head, perfectly white. It's small amounts of carbonation in there. The beer is brewed with lager malt and fuggles, hops. The colour is, it's kind of a very, very light lager looking beer. It's definitely got that lager appearance, but it is an ale. Aroma. Yes. It's of kind of a white winey smell on this with juicy green apples I'm gonna dig in cheers oh. <clears throat> the first thing I get from this beer is I think I mentioned it in the last review of the Otter Head it is the absolute quality of the water you can actually taste the spring water it is so fresh the water where we live here in South Wales has got a funny very funny funny taste to it and you can always taste water from different parts of the country and I'm getting that also I'm getting like as well that that kind of white wine type aroma and taste you get big juicy green apples it's wonderful absolutely wonderful beer really 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 nice it's been a bit of a mad, it's been a bit of a mad couple of hours where Sunday night we got, we got to get all our bins out and we do a Sunday roast and get the kids to bed. It's about half past seven in the evening. All of that's been done and I've gone for this just to chillax really, just to, just to relax with a lovely refreshing mouth quenching thirst quenching beer and that's exactly what this is 4.3 percent abv it's beautifully blended it's very very light it's a type of beer that like i say i've chosen to refresh myself with this tonight and it certainly is doing that It's kind of like a Granny Smith, you know you bite that Granny Smith, you go through and, you, and the juices go into your mouth, it's that really, really nice green apple taste. And you've got a nice sweet malt flavour as well. This is a very good beer. Oh, 
totally refreshing me. Okay, Otto Bright. And that's said, uh, if you were to pick a name for a beer, that certainly is the perfect name. Absolutely perfect. Look how light and refreshing and bright that looks. It's a beautiful, nice, clear beer. Otter Brewery uses water from the springs of the River Otter to brew Otter Bright. Otter Bright's refreshing flavour comes from lager malt, fuggle hops and spring water, a really thirst quenching beer. I cannot get my point over across how thirst quenching this beer is. But it really is. <coughs> Pardon me. Otter, Brewery, Otter Bright is brewed by Otter Brewery Mathes. Lepit, Devon, UK. Contains barley and may contain wheat, oats, rye and spelt. I suppose that's spelt grain, is it? Maybe. Now, no website on this bottle, curiously enough. But I imagine if you Google Otter Brewery, UK, I believe there's an Otter Brewery in America as well, so you have to be careful. But if you Google Otter Brewery, UK, or Put in www.otterbrewery.co.uk. I'm sure you'll come across their website. They seem to have a very, very solid range. Their Otter Head at 5.8% was a lovely, lovely beer. And if I'm ever on holiday down in Devon, yep, if I'm ever on holiday down in Devon, I and it's a hot sunny day, I'll certainly be looking for this type of beer to really... Thirst quench me. That's the words. Okay. My final, my final thoughts. I want to take a bit into Mrs. Real Ale Guy to try. My final thoughts on the Otter Bright is it's just a, one of those lawnmower beers which it's got a lot of flavour too. It's got nice flavours going on. Juicy red apples, sweet malt, there's that lager malt in there which gives a bit of a lager flavour as well in the beer. Nice white wine kind of background taste in, in, in it as well. Now the mouthfeel and the way it's going down is very, very good. It's not over carbonated. It's, it's not rushing, pardon me, with carbonation. So it's sitting in my stomach very well. Well, you can see, it's been eight minutes. I think I cracked it open after two. So I've nearly finished the pint after just six minutes. So it really does go down very, very well. So for all of them reasons, and the fact that I absolutely love a good brewery, which uses natural spring water, that is a big quality for me. There's a few breweries, especially down in the Devon Cornwall area that uses natural spring waters and it's just, or they've got natural wells in the brewery. It just gives that extra bit of edge over breweries which can't use spring water. So for all of them reasons, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. Very tasty for the beer it is. If you want to contact the Real Ale Guide, it's Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. Love your emails. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Real Ale Craft Beer. Twitter is twitter.com forward slash Real Ale Today or at Real Ale Today if you want to mention me. Always come back to YouTube though first. Always comment. I'll always answer. Subscribe if you like and cheers.